Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Saumya Harikrishna. We are learning the chapter Carbon and its Compounds and today we will learn about isomers. Isomers are compounds having same molecular formula but different physical or chemical properties. Isomers can mainly of two types, structural isomers and stereoisomers. You are learning only structural isomers. They may be of different types further. All those you, details you will study in higher classes. Now let us see how are structural isomers different from normally isomers. Structural isomers means they are compounds having same molecular formula but different structural formula. That is if a hydrocarbon compound we are writing in different uh, structures then we call it as isomers but the molecular formula remains the same when we are writing uh, an isomer we can start with the butane only because minimum four carbon atoms are required in order to write an isomer so if you write butane first structure we can write as the normal structure of butane with a straight chain this is known as normal butane that is N-butane or it is the normally butane we call it as. Then second is out of these four carbon atoms, there are four, one, two, three, four, one carbon atom we are giving as a branch. That is one, two, three, we are writing in a single line and fourth one we are giving as a chain. Suppose imagine if we are giving here then it is again a continuous chain. We cannot consider it as a, as a branch because for a branch to form it should be like this. Okay. Not like this. Because imagine suppose this, there are four carbon atoms here. Last one I am hanging here. But again if I lift it is a continuous right. It should not be there. So from here. So we cannot give it in the last or edges. We have to give inside. So here we are giving it here. Or on top is also equal. So now what will we do? Rest of the valence is with a hydrogen. So this is hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now here already three gone. So one hydrogen. Here three more. Here again hydrogen. So this group is forming CH3 that is named as methyl group because methane means four hydrogen atoms around. One hydrogen is removed. This group is called a methyl group. So now when we are naming it, we can write it as isobutane. Because this chain butane is called a isobutane or there is a naming system for chemical uh, compounds, especially the organic compounds. It is followed by the rules of IUPAC. IU P A C I U P A C stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. So they are approving the naming system or nomenclature we say. So here isobutane in I U P A C system if you take, we take the main ch uh, chain first. How many are there? 1, 2, 3. And from which carbon atom the methyl group is added? Second carbon atom. So we can write it as 2 hyphen methyl is the group. 2 methyl. So methyl group we have taken out. It 2 stands for the second carbon, number of carbon of the main chain to which this group is added. So second carbon methyl group. So this we have already referred to. Now we don't have to calculate this. What is left? Only 3. That is propane. Single bond, right? So propane. So 2 methyl propane. Okay. Any other isomer possible here? No. Because we have the middle, this also end, this also end, so no more isomer is possible here. So here these are the two isomers of butane, draw and practice. One is normal butane and second is a isobutane or 2 methyl propane. Now we will see pentane. Isomers of pentane, first one as usual long chain, that or straight chain we say, 5 carbon atoms in a row. So what can we call it? N-pentane or normally pentane we say. N stands for normal pentane or pentane. Then second isomer we can write 1, 2, 3, 4 in a line. Can I add the branch here? No. So here I can add or here I can add. Why? Because if I number from here 1, 2, 
3, 4. Or if I number from that end, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here if I add, it is second carbon. Here if I add also, it is second. So, we can number from any side. Uh, further rules you will study in higher class. So, for the time being, I am adding here. So, CH3 group is added here. Okay. Now, if I draw a number from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. It should be the small, small, smaller carbon atom. So, I am numbering from here. So, uh, what is the uh, name here now? So, again, these are all hydrogen we have to fill. Okay. Don't forget that. So, what will you get? Here, the uh, name is isopentane. Or we can write it as 2 methyl. Then can I write pentane? No. 1, 2, 3, 4 only the main chain. Butane. 2 methyl butyl. Okay. 2 methyl butane. Then next is the next one we can say. We are writing only 3 in the main chain and we are giving. Two branches to it. So here one CH3, here also one CH3, and here as usual H, 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 H. So we have two branches here in the second carbon. So if you number from left to right or right to left, this is the second carbon. So this is named as second carbon. How many are there? Two, one methyl group here, one methyl group here. So we have to Number it as 2 comma 2. Again remember this is not showing that two groups are there. It is showing the position of the carbon. Right. Second carbon. Again second carbon. 2 and 2. Both are on the second carbon. Then how many methyl groups are there? Dimethyl. So here only we are showing that two methyl groups are there. Okay. So this 2 is the number of carbon atom. Uh, means the position. That is second carbon atom. The here only dish indicates that two groups are there. Dimethyl. Okay, now can I write pentane? No. Butane? No. 1, 2, 3 only in the straight chain. So, it is becoming propane. So, the answer, the name is 2, 2. 2 and 2 shows the uh, num carbon number. And di means two groups are attached. Which group is attached? Methyl group, propane. So, these are the three isomers of pentane. Now, we will draw the isomers of hexane. So, as I told in the last video, please don't simply watch this video. You have to take a paper and pen and uh, practice with me. Okay, and then cross check whether it is correct or you take the screenshot of my screen so that you will you can refer to it later. So, hexane again, first one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, again, we are completing it with the hydrogen. Okay, so what can you call this straight chain? N hexane. Right, N hexane. Now, second one, we can make it iso. 3, 4, this pentane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, uh, 5 word means one more extra that we can give us a chain. So, this time I am giving here, uh, suppose I am counting from this end, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, two, second carbon. So, here again, H, H, H. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, this is called as isohexane or I can say it as 2 methyl. Now, it is not hexane. It is pentane. 2 methyl pentane. Okay. The next one, how will it come? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 only I am giving. 2 uh, branches I am giving. From the second carbon 1, third carbon also 1. So H, 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 H. Here 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this is called a 2, comma 3. Which are the carbon atoms here? Methyl groups attached 1. Second carbon and a third carbon, right? So, we can write two, second carbon, comma, third carbon. Total how many methyl group 2? So, how will you name it? Di. Dimethyl. Now, what is left? 
1, 2, 3, 4, so butane. Now don't write hexane. What is there in the straight chain only we will take down. Okay, the same way, this also 2 methyl propane, I can write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry, 2 methyl pentane. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Here I can give 1 in the third carbon. Okay. So what can I write this? 3 methyl pentane. So pentane 2 I wrote. Second carbon and the third carbon I could write. Okay. So 2 methyl uh, first I wrote. Now 3 methyl pentane. But if I again give this it is the same. From this side if I count the least number is 2. So that also will become 2 only. So two, second position and third position I gave. Now in this one. I gave in both second as well as third. Now another option here is if I make it into pen propane. One, two, three. So how many side chains? Side, sorry, butane. How many side chains if I can give here? The same I can give. So see here also CH3. Here also CH3. H, 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 H. H, H, H. So what can I write? 2 comma 2 because in the second carbon 2 are there. Dimethyl butane. Okay. So we have got a few isomers. One is normal hexane. Then 2 methyl pentane or isohexane. Then 3 methyl pentane. 2, 3 dimethyl butane. And 2, 2 dimethyl butane. So far what we have discussed are all straight chains, right? We discussed only straight chain structures that is called the acyclic compounds. Now there are closed structures as well. Then it is called a cyclic uh, uh, compounds. They can be of two types, alicyclic compounds and uh, uh, aromatic compounds. In the case of alicyclic uh, rings, in the, uh, in the ring, the carbon atoms will be closed in the form of a ring. For example, if I take a propane, in propane normally what will you write? In a straight chain we keep the carbon like this and satisfy the valencies with the hydrogen. But in uh, closed structure what will we do? We will be taking these two carbon together. From the end we are joining the carbon. So as a result uh, we will get a triangular shape. But imagine here two hydrogen are there. Because here one valency gone, here one gone, so two only. So the rest of two you have to show. So H, 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 H. Or you can write here a CH2, or a CH2 itself as condensed form or it's a represented like this. Simple representation is this. The same way if you write butane. Butane 1, 2, 3, 4. So how can you write 4 carbon atoms in the form of a square? So here CH2, here CH2, here CH2, here also CH2. So this can be simply drawn like this. This is called what? Cyclobutane. This is cyclopropane. So you can see here how many carbon atoms are there? Three carbon atoms. So being an alkyl, single bond, so what should be the number of hydrogen atoms? It should be 3 into 2, 6 plus 2. 8 should be there. But here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 only. 2 less than what is expected. So if it is double we consider it as ethene. So, uh, sorry, propene. Right? That is alkene series, double bond. But when we are considering cyclic compounds, you know that when we are here actually hydrogen uh, atoms are there. But when we are joining the carbon together, we have to remove that uh, hydrogen only then valence will be free to join. So, two hydrogen should be removed out. That's why two number less coming here. The same way here also butane, if it is C4, it should be 4 into 2, 8 plus 2, 10. But we have 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8 only. It is the, like the uh, formula of butene. Okay. But it is nothing but, it's not butene, but it is cyclobutane. Now, pentane and hexane also you can draw. Cyclohexane is given in your textbook. So, here all C will be there. From each C, you have two hydrogen. 
only then a carbon's valency will be satisfied. Okay, so this is called a cyclohexane which has only single bonds but the formula is C6H, it is not 12 plus 2, 4 but it is 12 only, 6 places 2 hydrogen each. Okay, so these are cyclic compounds. You are studying an example of an aromatic cyclic ring also, that is benzene. Benzene, you can just learn the structure. Benzene is also like cyclohexane initially. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But every carbon has only one hydrogen. So how many valencies of carbon are satisfied? Only 3, 3 each. But we know carbon has 4 valencies. So, we will give alternate double bonds. So, this is the structure of benzene or we can simply draw like this. This is representing benzene or we draw this way also. Okay, this is benzene a C6H6. Okay, so you have to study the ring structures of cyclohexane and benzene very well because these two are given in your NCRT. Hope you understand the lessons I teach. If so, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, Biology My Passion. Thank you for watching.